welcome back to my channel my name is Anya and today's video is my October project pan update I'm filming this on Halloween which is why the makeup is a little bit darker and more extreme than my normal makeup is I just wanted to wear a black lipstick today so I am and I also decided to just color my eyebrows in black I kind of wish I had a black wig so I could channel my inner Wednesday or Morticia Adams but the messy hair is today. I have a couple of empties to talk about and I don't have a whole lot of time to film today so I'm just gonna get into it. I finished my OGX coconut water waitress hydration oil hair spray thingy. was not a big fan of this and I was happy to finish it and I didn't have all that much left. I finished, a little bit surprisingly, my Maybelline Master Corrector in green. I wasn't expecting this to be done as quickly as it was and I may or may not have made myself look a little bit like an alien the last time I used it. I put a bit too much on because I just wanted to use up the little bit that was left. But I can't get any more out of this. I didn't really like this. It was a bit too dry for my liking. So I'm happy that I finished it. I finished the dreaded LUV lip liner from Kat Von D. This colour is a gorgeous purpley colour. The formulation is atrocious and I was happy to have that gone. I also finished my e.l.f. tone correcting powder in Cool, which was completely shattered, I only had a little bit left and I had enough for maybe two, three, two, three full faces so it was easily used up on the days I wore liquid foundation. I'm not going to repurchase this one, it was fine but I, I didn't love it so I don't see that coming back. And then I have one declutter and it's this gold glitter eyeliner for Makeup Mecca. It's the Metal Moments in Gold Digger. And I really like this formulation, but this burned my eyes. I was using it one day and I had to wash it straight off because it was really, really bad. And that just told me that this is expired. And I have had that feeling because this is different in consistency than the it was originally and of the other ones I have as well. But I was kind of holding out hope that I was going to be able to use it one last time and I couldn't so this is going in the bin. Last month I passed my goal of 50 products so now the goal is 50 makeup items. I'm not quite there yet with all of the items that I've also decluttered which is now two. I'm at 45 makeup items so I have five more makeup items to go. I will definitely do that by the end of the year. Uh, so I'm going to push that goal to 60 makeup items and I think I'm going to be able to do that as well. It's going to take a little bit more work, but I'm motivated for it. So 15 more to go, but let's get into the few items that I have some progress on. So I have some progress on my Body Shop Vitamin C serum. I hate this. I'm trying to finish it. There's a puppy outside my door. Ja, kom där. Du må dytt på dörren och kom in, vet So I really dislike this product and I want it gone as quickly as possible uh, so I'll most likely do what I did with the Ole Henriksen one last month where I just pick a week in November and really really focus on this one and try and use it up in a week. It's going to be hard and it's going to be a week with no makeup because I can't wear this under makeup because this is a silicone product and my skin doesn't like silicone products and I don't get along with silicone products under makeup especially. But I'm going to pretty much focus on it for a week. I think it's going to take maybe two. I'll be happy if it takes me a week to use up, but I'm expecting two weeks. And we're going to see what happens. I have a puppy here, but I want this gone as quickly as possible. I have my two face masks and washes here. These I keep in the shower, so I have the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mud Cleanser. I've used this twice, I think. It's lost a decent amount. I really really like this and when I opened and used this the first time I became really nostalgic because this smells like Germany. Uh, it smells like one of the places we stayed at last time we were in Germany and it just brought me right back and I, I'm i not a person who washes my face um, at the sink with water every day, I don't do it. This is the, it's why it's in the shower, I only use it when it's in the shower. But I'm tempted to buy and keep this and keep it in the shower nearly entirely because of the smell. I also do enjoy the product, but it's a cleanser. There's only so much they can do, but it cleans my skin pretty decently. But the smell brought me right back to Germany and it's the first thing that's ever smelt exactly like that. So I, 
I like this a lot. The mud mask I only use I think once and I take this down my neck as well, not just on my face. It's the Formula 10 06 Be Very Bright Exfoliating Mud Mask. It's fine but I don't think I would refer to it. I prefer the Lush Mask of Magnum Inti one. Sorry for fluffing with my hair all the time. It keeps getting in my face. So I don't think I would repurchase, but I am going to finish it. I have a little bit of progress on my Makeup Makeup Powder. This is the Matte on the Go Baked Powder in Transparent. It's not transparent. It has a white cast, and it worked perfectly for today's look, which is where I have just used the Palest Foundation and Concealer I own, which is Fenty 100, and the original foundation, as well as the Colourpop Concealer in Zero, Fair Zero 02. I am paler than I'm normally, I normally am. This worked fine because this has a white cast to it. I don't really love it all that much though because it has a white cast and it also doesn't keep me matte for a very long time and if I build it up it looks a little bit like a highlighter. So I will finish this but I doubt I will ever repurchase unless I change my mind in the next couple of weeks. I have a tiny bit of progress on my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in Fair. I think this is again lost a gram. This is very slow going because I don't need a lot of this whenever I use it. So I expect this to be a struggle to finish if I'm going to finish it by the end of the year. But I really enjoy wearing it and I'm going to keep wearing it. And I. I like it. I then have some progress on both of my primers. I have the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. Wet n Wild Coverall is a lot more matte than I remember it being and it might just be because my skincare has changed a little bit but I don't like this as much now as I did before. I have gotten some use out of it and I think that's going to continue but I don't love it as much as I did. It's very matte on me and it didn't used to be that at all. The Becca one I have never really enjoyed under makeup because it emphasises texture. It's very glowy and that just emphasises all the texture that I have especially around my pores and on my cheeks where I have some texture and stuff from acne. But I've been wearing this when I haven't worn foundation un so I've worn it under colour corrector and it works fine and I also sometimes just put it on as the only makeup step during the day and maybe some eyebrows and mascara and that's how I think I'll finish it, but I won't repurchase really because I don't actually like the product all that much. I have a tiny bit of progress on my e.l.f. lip exfoliator. I dislike this a lot. I really don't like lip exfoliators, they just dry my lips out and my lips are already very dry. But I've been having a lot of issues with my lips recently with dryness and flakiness, so I've been using this a couple times. And I'm getting somewhere with it, but... I also keep getting more and more frustrated because my lips just keep getting drier and drier. It might just be that I'm doing something wrong, but I don't know if this is gonna survive the next month. So I'm gonna try and finish it. I probably won't, but I really don't like this. I keep making progress on my Maybelline Master Stroming Stick and it's a constant surprise pretty much. Look how little is left. I'm going to be able to finish this by 2020 and I did not think that was going to be the case by the, um, when I started this project because this wasn't touched and I don't like cream highlighters or cream blushes and bronzers. You know this if you've seen any of my other videos. But I'm going to be able to finish it and even if I don't finish it, even if it's like that much left, I'll count it as done and I'll be happy. But this is one I wear when I'm not wearing any makeup because it doesn't work well with my other makeup. So it's sort of one I wear on top of the colour corrector with the Becca primer on my no makeup makeup days. And I don't mind it for that. But it doesn't work with my other makeup and my other makeup styles. So I'm just going to keep using it. Now I have marked my number 7 uh, high shine lip crayon in Daydreamer as having progress. I don't have all that much left in here and I really enjoy this product a lot so I don't really know what to do because I don't want to pan this but it's also getting old and I know I know I won't repurchase this right away but I really like having it but I made progress I'm going to continue finishing it up because this will be gone soon and I'll be happy that I've had it and maybe it will come into my life again in the future I don't know but I have a lot of lip products to work through at the moment, including this one, which is part of what I'm wearing on my lips. This is the Kat Von D lip liner in Scully, which is a black lip liner. This formulation, 
I haven't really enjoyed. It's very hit and miss. It's either very nice and creamy and full colour, or it's super patchy, dry, crumbly. This manages to be a mixture of both. It's not the most opaque black. So I have it layered with a Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick in a black shade. So it's very heavy on the lips, and if I rub my lips together or rub my finger on it, it crumbles off. But I want to finish this, so I'm going to. I have only used this today. This is one application's worth, but I'm gonna have some fun on my days where I'm not doing anything. Because I have a green, I have two blues to work my way through, a hot pink. So I'm gonna be wearing some fun lip colours for the next couple of weeks just to finish these. And I'll be glad they're gone when they're gone because I don't like this formulation at all. I have also got a tiny bit of progress on the Lolita 2 shade. I wanted this done this month and I'm kind of annoyed at myself for not using it more because this has max two uses left or one application and a reapplication. But I haven't worn makeup all that much and I haven't worn lip liners all that much. I've worn lip balm because my lips have been super dry. But this is going to go in November. I'm holding myself accountable here. Anya, come on finish it. I don't like it. I like the colour, I don't like the formulation. I have my It Cosmetics Brow Power in Universal Taupe here. It's not my shade. It's very cool toned, very taupey. I have a tiny bit of progress. I am going to work hard. This is the brow I wear when I'm not actually wearing makeup and not planning on going anywhere because it does not look good in my brows. The colour is so wrong and I don't like the formulation of this. So I want it gone. The last product I have progress on is my Tania Burr Cream Eyeshadow in Sweet Sugar, which is the Champagne Goldie colour. I'm not a big fan of this. The colour is pretty, but it just looks patchy on my lids. So I want to finish it. I've made a tiny bit of progress and I haven't used the other colour in a while. I've been wearing this mostly. And I'm not sure which one of them I'm going to focus on to finish because I don't think I'll finish both. I'm kind of more tempted to finish the brown one because it's the one I like the least. But I also have a feeling neither of them are going to make it into 2020 so I'm just going to work with them while I can. I was going to add some more products in this month but I have two months left of the year and I don't have anything in my collection that will be done in two months, so I'm going to focus on the items still left in the project because I have many a product to work my way through. And I'm not going to add anything in this month, probably not next month either. And I'm going to just work with what I have and see what happens and make plans for next year's project plan. I'm probably going to do something similar to this, but with more products, probably. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye!